on your bow when you said started
in an arpeggio di That is awful. Eh, two. I'll go ahead and do it. I'll go ahead and do it. And now I'm going to do static. C sharp above that, and then now I feel like the A is the C sharp.
did that feel? Did you feel tired at the end or not? Not exactly. Okay. Because I wasn't like pressing like. You weren't squeezing and pressing. Okay. Good. Yeah. Is there anything? No. Oh, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start from page four, starting from the second variation to the fourth variation, and then I'll do try to do the sixth variation, and then practice the fourth one from the new operation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. my bow like <coughs> so I kind of got one anyway so I'm gonna start from the beginning again and try not to hold my bow yeah.
too high or something because it's so intense. Yeah. I won't hold the bow so much, that's part of it. I cannot even see the first one. Anyways. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go on to... I feel like I'm holding my arm too much, so now this hurts. Actually, I will do a snare song for me.
I'm gonna try. Okay. I'm off. <laughs> Da, 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 I think I'll do It's going to be a coordinate. So the stem is up. Okay, well, then look at the other step there. Put D down. Then that little beat into this. I don't know how to write it. Okay, that looks fun, I guess. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Where is a G? <laughs> I forget how to write a G. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I got three lines. The last line. G, G, single J. That's what I think it looks like. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Then three, two, three, seven, uh, and then. <laughs> Okay, now. Okay. Okay. Line. 
I want to do the same on the side. Anyway, that's uh, for the on the. to be done with that because that took a long time to go <laughs> I'm going to do the other two things quickly though. Really slowly because it's kind of 
exercises maybe some more of alcohol would that be all right no what nothing well it's just i'm not sure how this one's supposed to go are you oh i don't remember can you show me well what do you mean by sh can you start it again then and explain what you're before you play it, explain what you're supposed to do. I can see the way that you're looking that you're really not happy with me asking you about it. But believe it or not, I'm not, okay, could you stop picking on your violin with your hand at your bridge? That might be how the bridge got moved. You know, you don't have to like what I have to say. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm actually trying to be helpful. To practice something that you're really not 100% sure what you're supposed to do might make things harder later. So if you're absolutely 100% sure that you're doing exactly what Eugene wants you to do, then just say, Mom, I know this is exactly what he wants. And then I'll say, okay, and you can keep going. But if you haven't actually spent time watching the movie, did you go over this with Marsha? Yes or no? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, so maybe you really wanted to do it by yourself. And I think that's fantastic. But if you want to do it by yourself, and you want to do a fantastic job at it, you've got to watch the movie before you try it. Because you could it just doesn't sound the way Eugene was doing it to me. Maybe it is, and maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think that you're really hurting anything by waiting to do it till after you spent some more time looking at it. And if you could watch the movie while Gretchen's practicing and then come back and do five or six minutes on this after, I think you'd have a much better time of it. Would that be all right? Yes. Okay. So could you move on? Because you have a lot to do and I just think it'd be better if you could watch the movie. You could even text Marsha and see if she knows where it is in the movie and ask what she thinks about it. Okay, but you're doing a great job practicing. I'm not being critical of what you're doing. I just want to save you time. Okay? Okay. Right. So let's move on to something else. Do you have any more of uh, chopsticks and radishes? Or you... 
No. Okay. I have Kreuzer though. All right. I would I would suggest that you save that one for later too. That after you practice, you set your violin down and you go and listen to Kreutzer a few times at the fast level, and then you play it slowly yourself. Okay? Okay. All right. So why don't you, you know, why don't you take a 10 minute break and move on to accolade? Okay? Okay. Thank you.